be doing well. So I saw this picture here in the 1970s. Uh, to me, it looks like the 70s yet. Yeah, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know, the sisters were like so dope. Oh yeah. Saw it on Twitter. And I thought about the video I did about showing that black women were basically the sole breadwinners. The article was breadwinners by race. And black women were pretty much like 84% of the sole breadwinners here it is right here uh, it says notable findings by race reveal that black and latino mothers are more likely to be breadwinners than white mothers furthermore a substantial 84.4 percent of black mothers were primary sole or cold breadwinners in 2017 compared with 60.3 percent of latino mothers and 62.4 percent of white mothers Hmm. Very interesting. 84.4%. And so I'm kind of wondering, like, when are black women going to get get the message? Um, as I said before, I said again, the one that's paying, that's the one that's saying. That's who's in control. The one that's paying is the one that's saying. How many black women sitting up here to, tonight, this morning, in the morning, this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, is going to have a man sleeping in their home, in their bed, at the table, eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And guess what? She's paid for the roof over their head, be it a mortgage or rent. She's paying for the food, the utilities to even make and heat up the food. For the water that comes to the faucet. How many black women are pretty much a major, if not the only contributor, the sole provider, but a major contributor? Again, the one that's paying is the one that's saying, we are led by a matriarch in our society, in our community. Okay, a failed patriarch left holding a bag is the matriarch. So 84.4%. Again, this right here, I believe, was, was it 2017? So I'm, we're in 2024. We're probably looking at 95%. So seeing this picture of these beautiful ladies from the 70s, I thought about it. It's, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee. So I Googled, in 1970, how many black women were breadwinners? It says, in fact, in 1970, black mothers were as likely to be the sole breadwinners of their families at 36.4%. And cold red winners at 22.2% as white women were for their families in 2015. So in 1970, black women were likely to be the sole breadwinners of their families at 36.4%. Or cold red winners at 22.2%. Sole breadwinners. So you've gone, black women have gone from 36.4%. 1970, some of us weren't even born then for crying out loud. 1970 have gone from 36.4 percent so breadwinners we're going to go ahead and fast forward to these canes we're 2017 84.4 percent what does that tell you what does that tell you and then when the men do get money well you know how they do a lot of them get successful anyone but a black woman because of the say the self-hatred that resides in them they're basically breeding themselves out which is okay with me because a lot of them if all they're going to do is be a contaminator and bring down a black woman's lifestyle i'd rather you go ahead and breed yourself out so you've gone from 36.4 percent to 84.4 percent but you want to sit up here and play stand by your man through thick and thin stand by your dusty man when are you going to wake up the one that's paying is the one that's saying you need to remember you are the ceo the cfo the coo you are the chief financial officer you are the chief executive officer you are the chief operating officer of your life Sitting up here trying to pop these men up to make it something that they are not going to be. And when they have wealth, you know what they do. So this right here, I'm, it's like this thing is going really backwards here. 36.4% in 1970, then 2017, 84.4%. I guess by now, 2024, we're probably looking at maybe between 90%. And it wouldn't surprise me here, a big old 95.5%. Honestly and truly, what is it going to take? See, what this tells me is, I'm sorry. Unless the person is a provider or a good partner, guess what? We're just 
you're, you're bringing your lifestyle down by dealing with the seed of poverty deep. But I guess that's what we like. Speaking for not all of us, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Nine, I thought about that. In 1970, it was 36.4% sole breadwinners. As if things are getting any better. And I don't want to hear about, oh, well, the white man got his neck on a black man. Yep. And guess what? The black man have his foot on a, on a black woman's neck. Every time you look up, she getting unalived by one. How about that? Yeah, let's not discuss that, that particular factor. This is ridiculous. There is no improvement in, the, in these men as a collective for the community. I mean, it is what it is. Call it what you want. What are you waiting for? Then to come and be a provider. All these fatherless homes. Oh, the welfare kicked them out of the home. What's the excuse now? How the hell do we go from 1970, 36.4% of sole bread winners, 1970, fast forward to 2024 at 84.4%. Baby dog, can you not do the math? Can you not do the math? You'd be better off on your own. Because a lot of you are taking on a liability. So I just want to find out. who The handwriting is on the wall. The handwriting is on the wall. When you're going to wake up? 1970, 36.4% sober breadwinners. 2017, 84.4%. You, you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. 84.4%. And some of them want to cheer about, oh, you and your degree. Let me tell you something. If a, if black women go down, the whole darn community will go down because we already see who's holding it up. And it sure hell ain't the what, 20, uh, what 26 or 25.6 percent issue as hell ain't them. 84.4 percent. That's in 2017. In 1970, Brett was at 36.4 percent. The train is going in the wrong direction. It's like black women, I'm sorry to say, it's like you're picking up men scraping the bottom of the bed. You what I can find, girl. Oh, I got one. And here you are with your MBA and PhD, BA, Bachelor of Science, picking up, just picking up a, a dust bucket. Pro propping them up. Would have more money in your pocket if it weren't for them. I'm sorry, it is what it is. So that's why when I see some of the struggle bus, I just keep it moving. Hmm. Yeah, it happens next. Let me watch my movie or read my book. Where's my Kindle at? What part do you not understand? For those of you who might be sitting up here, you wait for them to build for you and give them a chance. Baby doll, how many chances do they need whenever they get money? They'll even get a woman that's sitting up there. She just She's only housed, pretty much being trapped at the Playboy Mansion. We've seen a video when Sinji had her channel of a uh, Hispanic lady. She was homeless child, literally sleeping on the sidewalk. And he picked her up. That cane did. He didn't say what you bring to the table. The so-called cane didn't find it strange to pick her up, marry her, and get her a diamond ring and set up in home. But you got to come with 50-50. So at this point, it's just, uh, it's either low self-esteem queens or, or just ignorant, so I don't know. Maybe these dust buckets got, got some kind of some kind of hold, a mental hold on you. I'm thinking we must be raising low self esteem queens for this mess to continue. 1970, black women, black mothers are likely to be the sole breadwinner of their families at 36.4 percent. Are we really going somewhere? Yeah, going backwards. 2017, 84.4 percent. Please make it make sense. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I just found that very just like wow. It's uh the, the train is going it's 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 going backwards. It is going hella backwards. And think when black women go through challenges, a lot of them they love to celebrate a downfall. Again, if the black woman do goes down, this whole community goes down. Cause a lot of black men are sitting up here, can't survive without black women. Cannot survive without them. This is crazy. In the 1970s, 36.4%. Now we got modern technology. 2017, 84.4%. This does not make sense. It's The numbers speak for itself. It, it speaks for itself. So yeah, people are grounded what they're going to do. 
But this right here, if you wait for these men to build for you, baby doll, you're going to be waiting and waiting. It's, time will be up. It'll be the end of time. You'll be sitting up here 109 years old if they don't take you out by then. Anyway, I got to go. Thanks for watching. I found this interesting and somewhat rather disturbing. I want to share with you and see what your thoughts are on the matter. Uh, so go ahead. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. This is, is not acceptable, honey. The math ain't math. And I'm out. Bye, ladies. Love you.